truck meant everything to my husband, Troy, because he built it with his dad. First ride? Yes, 71 Chevy pickup. More than anything, he wishes he could find that old Chevy. After all of our searching, we found the truck just like Troy. All right, guys, let's give Troy the truck him and his dad always dreamed of. When Troy was 16, he wanted to hot rod out his old truck because his dad loved hot rods, and he wanted his dad to be proud of it. Troy, he knows something's up, but he has no idea he's about to come face to face with his first ride. Yeah! Gorgeous! Your first ride was your first special memory. It marked your independence, it was your coming of age. Everybody loves their first car, but somehow they let it slip away. We're here to find it, restore it, and give these people back their first ride. So I'm working on a car, trying to finish it up. Gwen comes in with a lady. She's trying to find her husband's first ride without him knowing about it. And that's what we do. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Tell me about this truck you're looking for. The truck meant everything to my husband, Troy, because he built it with his dad. First ride? Yes, 71 Chevy pickup. We were busy. She doesn't have the money. But when she said she wanted to surprise her husband with his first ride, we got to give it a shot. We'll do everything we can, but finding these things isn't easy. I'm not trying to dash her hopes, but she needs to understand the odds. Digging up an older making model is a long shot. When Troy was 14, his dad bought a used Chevy truck that didn't run, and the two of them together worked day and night to get it running again. The moment they got the engine to turn, Troy and his dad took it to the back road. He piled all his friends into that truck, and of course, he had to show it off to all the girls. Saturday nights were for drag racing, and he built quite a reputation. It was the only 4x4 that could outrun the hot rods. They were both so proud of the truck and proud that they built it together. A few years ago, Troy lost both his parents in a terrible accident. A barge lost control and took a section out of the I-40 Arkansas River Bridge here near Tulsa. One by one, cars were just falling into the Arkansas River. Troy's parents were in one of those cars. Troy's had a tough time coming to terms with his parents' death. More than anything, he wishes he could find that old Chevy. The thing he liked most about that Chevy was how it brought him and his dad closer together. If he could get that truck restored, it would really honor his dad's memory. Now we need to figure out how to find Troy's exact truck, or at least one that's the same year, make, and model. 71 C10 pickup. What do we know? Not a whole lot. Shelly doesn't even have a VIN number, and Troy sold it to some mechanic 15, 20 years ago. Daryl? Classic step side, 350, lift kit. First place we need to look is the mechanic he sold it to. Let's focus on a 100 mile radius, because we know there aren't going to be many of these left around. I'll grab a roll, we'll hit the pavement, round up every C10 we can. All right. We're looking for a C10 pickup just like the one Troy had. It's a rare truck, but we're gonna turn over every stone until we find one. What's up, guys? Julio owns a shop here in Tulsa. He's the first person I go to to find stuff. 71 C10. Might wanna check out the yards on 16th. If anybody's got it, Brian's got it. Let us know when you hear something. Parts will show up. Uh, when they start showing up looking like this truck, holler at us. I'll holler. All right, then. If there's one truck that matches Troy's make and model in the state of Oklahoma, we'll be lucky. Hello. We winning? Not so far. Checked in with Gwen. She said the mechanic Troy sold the truck to is dead. We're not going to find the actual truck. We need you guys to go out and track down the 71 C10 that looks like Troy's truck. Yeah, here's what I've got. I've got a 67, 68, and a 71. Yeah, uh, your 71's a fleet side. That won't even work. Hey, man, this isn't Walmart. You can't be so picky. On a fleet side, the bed sides are smooth. And on a step side, you've got fenders with a step right behind the cab. I need a step side. This ain't it. Thank you for your time, though. Now, this place was a bust. I guess we just keep looking. You guys having fun yet? You got something for me? I get a call from David. He's sending me to Manford to look for this truck. Man, on the phone, you said I could drive this thing home today. Yeah, I did. It doesn't have an engine, Chief. No, it sure doesn't. Man, I found all kinds of Chevys. It's amazing what people will try to sell you. To them, it's just a car. To Troy, this truck will mean everything. Here she is, Egg Craig Grill 1971 Beauty. He thought he had a 71, but it was a 72, and I knew better. It's not it. 
Chevrolet didn't come out with plastic until 72, buddy. This is a 72. If you climb under it, check the VIN number, you'll find out it's not a 71. It's all part of the business. The guy's got to sell what he's got. We know the truck's close, but close is not what we're looking for. You anywhere near Burton? I could be pretty quick. Earl calls me with the lead. I'm on my way to Burton. Just looking for one to restore, or are you wanting to build one? Well, just kind of wanting to build one. Here it is. I was looking at another dead-end truck when I got a call from Julio. Hello? Hey, man, I got your truck. He gave me a hot lead. After all of our searching, we found the truck just like Troy's. Yeah. Can't believe it. What do you take for it? Well, I thought I was going to have to pay somebody to take it out of here. What do you give me for it? Give me 1500 for it. Well, give me 1500 then. You're a good man. You guys ain't gonna believe it, I found it. The truck's been sitting outside for a long time. The hard part's over, we're gonna do what we do best. Fix her up. Let's give Troy the truck him and his dad always dreamed of. And them door handles gotta go. Yeah, that'll give this thing a street rod feel. Yeah. Gorgeous. The truck meant everything to my husband, Troy, because he built it with his dad. First ride? After all of our searching, we found the truck just like Troy. Hard part's done, truck's in the shop. You like our new toy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Troy's wife, Shelly's coming down to help us decide how to make it into the truck of Troy's dreams. Okay, guys, we have to honor the way Troy and his dad wanted this truck to look as if money were no object. Now, they went silver when they restored it 20 years ago. That's one option. Troy is called silver his poor man's paint job. He always wanted candy apple red, and his dad always wanted a darker candy color. Oh, then I say we two-tone it. A darker color on bottom, candy apple red on top, split them with a pinstripe. They both get what they want, and I get to have a little fun. What about body work? Ever since he and his dad restored the truck the first time, Troy's always said he regretted not making the truck look sleek, whatever that means. We can make it look sleek. Knock off the drip rails, get rid of the marker lights, smooth it all out. That'll give him sleep. Yeah, and them door handles gotta go. That way we can install some of those remote control door poppers. That'll definitely give this thing a street rod feel. What about the inside? Well, as is, it's completely water damaged, so we just got to start over. Can you get any bucket seats? Yeah, we can do bucket seats, but if we do bucket seats, we're going to have to move the fuel tank, because right now it's behind the bench seat. It's taking up too much room. Guys, this is going to be the surprise of his life. All right, then. Let's help Shelly give Troy the truck him and his dad always dreamed of. Your first ride's everything. For some people, it's the car you had your first date in. For me, it kept me from riding a bus. That was pretty big. Let's get these parts off this truck. Let's go. Is everything on this thing rusted? Yeah, let's get that seat out. Chunk that thing. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Woo! The gas tank's got to go, guys. Errol! Oh, Errol! Oh, yeah! Watch your leg! Ah! Oh! Hey, Daryl, do it with your fist. Oh. Guys, be careful. Yes, Mom. Oh, yeah. I ain't lifting it. Whoa. Good enough for government work? Yeah. All right. You know, Troy really wanted this thing to look like a hot rod. Hey, we can do it, man. Just shave everything that sticks out. Yeah, we'll shave off the door handles, the drip rails. Man, that'll look pretty smooth. When Troy was 16, he wanted to hot rod out his old truck because his dad loved hot rods, and he wanted his dad to be proud of him. But that kind of job takes professional body work, so Troy could never get it done. Everything on the truck will probably take a day, day and a half, get it all shaved and looking nice. We can't fill this hole full of Bondo because it just fall through. So we've got to make a piece of sheet metal to stick in this hole. I just got through MIG welding my sheet metal in place. Now I'm going to take my grinder, clean up my welds a little bit. We just finished shaving the door handles and the lock. We've got all of our holes welded up. We're just going to wipe some mud on it. When you get to the Bondo part, you're almost done.
We're gonna raise the side step on Troy's truck to make him even with the body line. That'll give the truck a tough, sleek look. Well, Daryl just uh, cut this out of cardboard, this template of the step for the right side. We're gonna trace it out in the metal, cut it out, weld it onto the truck, we'll be good to go. Let's weld her on. Just applying a little body putty. Uh, it fills in the cracks, smooths off some of the surface deals, gives us a surface we can sand down and make smooth, and prime it. Man, that looks really, really good. Shelly said Troy worked two jobs in high school to try to save enough money to paint his truck candy apple red. He had to settle on silver because it was cheaper, but we're not going to settle. The boy wanted candy apple red, he's finally going to get it. The truck, when it's done, it'll be a candy red on top with a black two-tone on bottom. This is the uh, ground coat for the candy. You can see it's kind of gold. Paint's all mixed up. I'm just ready to get color on this thing. Yeah, when you're doing a candy, you spray a base coat. Some of them will be gold, some of them will be silver. And then your, your candy coat is actually transparent. It's just a real transparent red. And you're actually seeing your ground coat through it. And it gives it a real nice, deep look. This is the black for our two-tone on bottom. It's black with a little bit of red metal flake in it. Give it a little glitter out in the sun. It's pretty cool. Looks really nice out in the sun. There we go. There's your black. Troy always wanted a red and black truck. If he don't like it, he's going to have to answer to me. <laughs> Troy used to have a cassette deck, a couple of these tiny four inch speakers. Now we're hooking him up with a brand new CD player, some custom kick panels made out of fiberglass wrapped in leather. It's got some mid ranges, five and a quarter, 10 inch subwoofer. It's gonna be nice. What I'm doing now is I'm cutting the wood for the amp rack. We're gonna trim it up, get it placed in. Well, we're mounting up the amps to the amp rack and we'll put a cover on it, put the rest of the interior in it, a few speakers and we'll be good to go. Earl and I are just getting started on the new fuel system for the truck. Back in 71, it was standard for this gas tank to be behind the driver's seat. This big bulky thing in there, there wasn't enough room to put in a cool interior in the truck. So we're gonna mount a modern fuel cell in the pickup bed, make room for the bucket seats. I'm grinding this bed liner out of this bed right now so that we can take a plasma cutter and cut our hole for our fuel cell to sit down flat. Then we'll get the fuel cell in here and get it all hooked up. We should be ready to go. Okay, we're all done. Just need to beat this thing down, make room for the fuel cell. How's it look, Earl? That's pretty good. It's nice and flat. We've got this new fuel cell hooked up and ready to go. And that leaves plenty of room inside the cab for those bucket seats that Troy always wanted. I've got Scott for Integrity coming over to hook us up with some upholstery. Hey, guys. He's all yours. Hey, Scott. Thanks for helping us out. Check it out. What do you think? Um, what do you think about black and red two-tone with a Chevy bow tie embroidered right up there? I like it. I'm just sewing the inserts in to give it the two-tone look. And right up there is where the Chevrolet bow tie will go. I think Troy's going to love it. I know I would. Well, Scott just finished up sewing up the seat covers, and uh, he's getting them on right now. These seats are going to go a long way. They're going to be a big step towards making this truck like Troy always wanted it. All right, let's get these in the truck. Let's do it. Man, these seats are money. Yeah, this truck's gonna be really cool. Hey, Earl. I got a question for you. Shelly told me that when Troy first had his truck, he had a personalized license plate. Do you know where I might be able to get one made that says his last name Gillian? Yeah, I know a guy. That ain't no problem. The DMV doesn't make old school plates anymore, so we can't get a legal one, but we can make a replica that Troy can use for a show. I did some research and found the Oklahoma 1971 license plate. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right, well, let's get it printed. All right, we're going to first custom color your license plate. We're going to start with the beige. We're going to give it an aged look. Then we're going to apply the lettering. And so technically, you're just going to lay this on it to dirty it up, make it look a little older. Then we'll put the red on it for the actual letters of the license plate. Pretty cool, man. That's the idea. So you, you do a lot of license plates? Where'd you learn how to do it? You serve some time? Nah. Hero, what do you think? Oh, man, that's awesome. Troy's going to love it. Hey, David, here's some packages for you. These are the automatic power steps and the door poppers for Troy's truck. Well, since we shaved the door handles, there's no way to get in the truck from the outside. So we had to add an electric actuator, which has a cable that comes up and connects to the factory rod. So when you press the button, doors pop open, you can get in. 
Uh, right now, I'm working on the control panel for the uh, remote door actuators. There's quite a few wires here, man. You just gotta find where they all go and hope you don't burn nothing down. Daryl's on the other side. He's installing some power steps. What's neat about them is they're a very simple setup. You've got a motor underneath, you've got two brackets and a step that comes across. When the button here is tripped by the door opening, power step comes out. You guys ready for this? Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Nice, nice. Let me see. Let me try. Yeah! Troy, how you doing? He knows something's up, but he has no idea he's about to come face to face with his first ride. Oh! Truck's done, we're just waiting for the Gillians to arrive. Shelly's got Troy convinced that he's shopping for a minivan in our car lot. He has no idea he's about to come face to face with his first ride. How about this one? No, let's go look over here, come on. It just didn't seem right. We went to this place and I didn't really see any minivans there. It didn't even look like a car lot, it looked like some body shop. I didn't have a clue what we were doing. Just by seeing Shelly's expressions and everything, I knew she was up to something. We walked in, there's a dark haired guy staying there and introduced himself, and I didn't have a clue who he was. Troy, how you doing? A little confused. I uh, thought we were here to look at a minivan. Well, let me get you caught up to speed. Shelly asked us to find something you let go of and wish you never had, and we're about to give it back to you, if you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. At that point, I got really nervous. I knew there was going to be something waiting for me behind that door, but I just didn't know what it was. It's my truck? It sure is. Oh my God. <laughs> Shelly told us how special this truck was to you and your dad. So he tracked one down, customized it to give you the truck of your dreams. What do you think, man? It's, it's just gorgeous. Yeah! Gorgeous. What do you think your dad would think? Oh, he'd love it. He'd be tickled think he'd love it. Dad's smiling proud right now, I know it. That truck is just kind of a symbol of you know, the time we spent together, it means so much to go ahead and get the truck finished and, you know, in his name. I wish he was here. I wish he was here. I'm so grateful to the guys for what they've done to the truck. It's something I can look at every day and remember my dad. The work's tough and the days are long. But when you see what it went towards and the effect it had on the guy you did it for, it's all worth it. We knew you and your dad had a lot of memories of this truck and a lot of dreams for it too. So we did all we could to get it back to you, update it, and decked out. Beautiful. Beautiful. We know you've always dreamed of a classic truck with a modern touch. We shaved off the door handles, the fender markers, anything that stuck out, we made it smooth and sleek. Down here on the bottom, I laid down a black base coat, and then on top, you've got the candy apple red, man. Beautiful. It's just what Dad always wanted. We painted your grill to match your truck, did the outer trim with the candy apple red, the insert with the black with the red metal flake on it, kind of give it that hot rod look. What do you think? <laughs> it looks incredible. We custom fabricated these steps for you so the body line continues over the wheel. Sleek and stylish, just like show cars. I love it. Look down here. We cut out the old rockers. They was busted up, rusted out, we put in brand new metal. <laughs> nice license plate. 1971 reproduction Oklahoma license plate. <laughs> Troy, over here. Your Chevy's a four by four, so we wanted the right attitude, so we set it up with new tires and wheels. Gorgeous. Makes it look tough, right? Oh yeah, looks great. You ready to see the inside? Love to see the inside. All right. Oh! Ah. I have at her. Ah. Holy smoke. Ah. 
crazy. It seems so much bigger in here. We took that gas tank out of the cab. We put it in the back of the bed to give you more room and no more gas smell, man. You got the classic metal interior with the painted dash and the door panels. We added leather bucket seats, just like you always want to do yourself. We also installed a new Memphis audio system. Man, I've always wanted to put a system in this truck. CD player, six inch speakers in the kick panels, state of the art amps, and a 10 inch subwoofer under the console. I wish the truck looked like this when I was 16. Can't wait to show this to everybody. Earl, give him back the keys. Cheers again, Troy. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Only I'm supposed to travel.